Drop a like on the video in the next five seconds or you'll never green another shot. Now, trust me, I would not risk it. Now, if you have been struggling to shoot in NBA 2K23, then this video is for you. Now, in this video, I'll be giving you guys the most best consistent green light jump shots in the game. And on top of that, I'm going to be giving you guys the best tips and tricks for you guys to shoot consistent green lights and never miss in NBA 2K23. Now, if you are a bad shooter, by the end of this video, you will become a great shooter by just watching this video. Now, I'm going to be giving you guys so much information throughout this video so do not skip anything throughout this video this will be the best consistent jump shot that you have ever seen in 2k history so make sure you guys drop a like click that subscribe button and without further ado let me show you guys the most best consistent green light jump shots in nba 2k 23 now before i actually show you guys these jump shots i want to show you guys a few tips and tricks that are going to help you shoot better 100 and i'm not even trolling when i say this i have a lot of tips and tricks in nba 2k 23 that nobody knows now shooting in nba 2k 23 is completely different than it has been in the past years so you may be thinking to yourself how am i gonna shoot better well no worries this video is going to help you i got you right now but real quick before i actually show you guys the first step i want to show you guys something that not a lot of people are going to show you now you guys can see right now the game has been out and i've been on this game playing with literally no badges at all and i am a good 25 and 8 my record i have 25 wins 8 losses i average 30 13 plus points per game and not a lot of people can say they do that now i iso i shoot very good and i only have an 85 three ball and i'd be shooting with no stamina and on top of that i have zero badges so if now if you do not believe me that i'm gonna help you guys shoot better in this video let me get into the actual steps now the first step i'm gonna show you guys to actually shoot better is very very important and a lot of people don't do it because the price that it takes for vc but in all honesty it's really worth it it is gonna make you get more vc and it's gonna help you shoot a lot more green in the park so now there's two ways to do this and the first step is to buy boost now you can either open your phone go down to buy boost right here and you can buy boost or if you want to do it a different way you guys can go over here go over to progression go to my health and you guys can see right now if you open skill boost you click it you can buy boost from here something that a lot of people do not know yet is that for some reason your boost are literally not getting used now this happened in an old 2k on 2k 21 next gen you could buy max boost and it literally would not take your boost at all i have been playing non-stop and you guys can see i literally have all my boost i swear i have not bought any boost recently from the time that i purchased these they have not gone down from 99 or 19 and the 19 is what i've had since i pre-ordered the game but the 99 has not went down then i'm not even lying now the second step that i'm going to show you guys to buy gatorade boost now you guys can see right here the gatorade facility is right over here now once you guys go inside the gatorade facility there's a couple things that you guys need to do that is going to help you shoot better now you guys can see right now there is a ton of equipment you guys have the treadmills you guys got weights over there you got the hurdles you got dumbbells over here you got the bench presses over here and a lot of other stuff that you guys can use to get stamina and more stuff now you guys can see right now if you guys get your weekly workout you guys get plus four stats plus three stats plus two stats all onto your physicals by just doing a weekly workout and the weekly workout boost literally lasts for seven days it makes your player a lot faster you get more stamina and everything and it just overall helps you shoot better now for the third step you guys want to stay in the gatorade facility come over here to the gatorade field shop and you guys can just run up to this man press a and there's a lot faster ways you guys can do this now for me personally i don't like to buy all these the only one i like to buy is this blue one because you can see it recovers your energy now if you want to keep your energy you can get more energy by just getting the yellow one i have always bought the blue one and it's been the most efficient for me now i don't buy a lot of gatorade boost because i just don't need it but a lot of people are going to need this especially if you guys dribble a lot and you guys shoot but for catching shooters i really don't think you guys will need this now a lot of people do some people do i don't really use it but if you guys do choose to use this you guys should buy the blue one or the yellow one it is all personal preference on what you guys do the most now if you guys don't want to walk all the way over to the gatorade facility you guys can open your phone go to buy gatorade just like we did for the boost and you guys can see right now you guys can buy the boost boost the same exact prices and it's a lot faster to just do it now another method to shoot better when you guys are new to the game i'm gonna show you guys a quick step right now you guys want to open the menus go to options slash quick go to settings right here and go down to shot feedback now this is going to be set to off but it's very important that you change this from off to all shots now if you don't 
know what this means basically if you shoot it's gonna show you what your timing was so it'll say slightly early slightly late late early or even green depending on how you time it that's what it will show now this is a very important if you guys are missing and you guys cannot time your jump shot you want to go to shot feedback and go to all shots it is the best way to learn your jump shot now another step in the settings that i'm going to show you guys is go to controller settings and you want to turn your shot meter on now you only want to turn your shot meter on if you are learning your jump shot now a lot of new shot features are out this year and i'm going to explain all these for you now shot meter if you are learning your jump shot you want to keep it on i am currently learning mine sooner or later like tomorrow i'm going to go ahead and turn this off now if you turn it off the no shot meter gives you a boost to shooting mike wing has confirmed this multiple times and it's been like this for years and a lot of people don't tell people this because they don't want people to know but no shot meter boost your shooting and it will make you guys shoot a lot more greens now shot time and release time now i've seen a lot of people in my comment section on my build video asking me what is this now a lot of people don't understand now late is going to make your jump shot slow okay if you want a slow jump shot use late very late is going to make your jump shot a little bit faster but not super super slow and then you guys have early okay now early is the same exact type of timing that you guys had last year on nba 2k22 nba 2k21 and nba 2k20 now early is what i use now if you guys want a very very fast jump shot all you guys have to do is change this to very early it really doesn't change anything it just makes your guys' jump shot a lot faster when you guys release it you just just gotta tap it basically now another thing you guys could do is do the quest and you guys can see another one right here is plus five gatorade and you guys can just look through these you guys can actually sometimes get very very lucky and get boost now it all depends on what type of quest you have and i'm not gonna lie i do some of these sometimes in my free time if they're like almost done i just go and finish them just so i can get the extra boost now if you don't have vc to buy boost is the best way to actually get boost now another tip to timing your jump shot you want to come over here to the elevator you want to go to the gold deck and once you guys are here you want to go ahead and click your mic cord now when it comes to practicing in your mic cord you do not want to practice in the shoot around it has a lot of latency and it's different timing from the park so what you guys want to do when i do this every year is go to the ball machine and this is where you want to practice your jump shot now one little quick tip i'm going to tell you guys is to not dribble around when you guys have no boost or no stamina now you guys can see if i use all my stamina then i shoot it's gonna make my jump shot a lot slower you guys can see right there it still went in but it just makes it a lot slower and now you guys can see right now when it when i'm compared to have my stamina you guys can see if i just stop right here shoot it and look what that color is right there you guys can see a green it is a lot easier to shoot you guys have your stamina and your acceleration boost so you should not be dribbling around and do not shoot when you have no stamina it's the best way to shoot you guys can see it is non-stop green but guys before i show you guys the best jump shots i'm gonna also give you guys my jump shot now when i show you guys the other jump shots i don't know 100 if they're the best now the jump shot that i'm gonna be giving you guys is the jump shot that i use now this jump shot is completely different for everybody because all heights have different bases and not every build will be able to use this jump shot so what you guys want to do is go to your my player go to animations and you want to press r1 rb depending on which console you guys are on go down to the jump shot creator and you guys can see right now edit jump shot now this is the jump shot that i use right here you guys can see here's the release speed now me personally i like to do three fours now you may be asking yourself look why do you use rudy gay base and it's just because i cannot get steph curry base i cannot get dwayne wade base and base 98 is removed so rudy gay has been the best for me now i want to be honest with you guys when i first started i used kyle kuzma and i actually liked kyle kuzma kyle kuzma is literally the second best base in the game for people that are taller like six seven plus six five plus i don't know the height cap off but i'm gonna give you guys this jump shot is the jump shot that i use i have rudy gay base larry bird release one and rudy gay release two now these are the best releases in the game they have the biggest green window and here is the release speed and the animation blending now this is the same exact jump shot that i used last year but i just don't have the base now that i have given you guys all the best tips and tricks throughout this video now i'm going to show you guys the actual jump shot now the first jump shot that i just showed you guys is my jump shot that i use now if you want to use that you guys can use that with any position if you are a point guard you want to change the base to Dwayne wade now i'm going to give you guys the best bases and the releases in the game now the best bases in the game are probably steph curry Dwayne wade cole anthony cole anthony is the fastest base in the game for point guards Jalen brown kyle kuzma and rudy gay now now, if you could use any of those, I advise you guys to use those. Now, I'm going to give you guys some of the other ones. You guys can use Dante Exum, LaMelo Ball. It all depends. It is literally all a personal preference on what you like. They are all the best bases. Now, when it comes to the best releases, the best releases are Steph Curry, Dwayne Wade, Rudy Gay, Dante Exum, Kobe, and Larry Bird. Now, these are all the best releases in the game. Now, if you guys want to use those jump shots, you guys got to adjust the speed to yourself. Now, I always do like this. Like, for example, you guys can see right now, I always go 60-40. Now, if you guys want to change those, you guys can 
can mess around and figure it out. But I just gave you guys all the best jump shots, the best bases, the best tips and tricks. So guys, I hope this video helps you guys. If it does, please drop a like and share this video with somebody that cannot shoot because shooting in this year is so hard. But this video is going to help you so much. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Make sure you guys drop that like button. Click that subscribe button and turn on the post notifications. You already know the vibes. It's been your boy Lux TV, y'all. Jimmy, oh, you're on a beat, boy. Let's go.